Magic Grandma. And we'll be your tour guides for today. First off, the Mass Corridor. So, in the Mass Corridor, this is where the year sevens will be staying, as we're in Mobbles for the moment. But usually we would come here and do our maths. Mm -hmm. Maths is the only set subject that is set in at the moment. All the other subjects are mixability, but you'll be challenged really you'll be challenged a lot. So as we go down the mass corridor, there's a lot of displays that uh, encourage everyone and all of the math teachers have picked their favourite subjects. Um, when we do maths, we also have, uh, we also have maths homework called Higgity Maths and we have to watch a video and then we take notes from the video and do a quiz to help us understand what we're doing in the classes. It really helps. And um, there's a heavy team match display right there. Each year group has a social zone. The year seven social zone is down at the grass area. It's actually really, even though we don't have the same amount of space as we did before, we can still enjoy and have fun at school. In Humanities, we learn about four different subjects. We learn about CPSSC, History, Ethics and Geography. But um, in Year 9, we start learning about Sociology and um, Law Studies as well. And then we progress into GSCSEs in Year 10. So here are the, where the Year 11s, this is the Year 11 social zone, and they stay here to study. This is the ICT department. We learn loads of stuff here from Scratch and Python to binary storage and input and output. It's also one of my favourite subjects. Oh! <laughs> Don't forget about the LLC. Here, there's loads of computers and resources for us to use for classes, so we can print out stuff if we have print money on the computers. And we can also sit here and chill at the, during break time and read if we want to. We also do this thing called Accelerated Reader, in which you read a book and then take a quiz on this as well. It's really fun. If you get a million words with Accelerated Reader, then you become a millionaire reader. And if you become a millionaire reader, then you get a £5 gift card voucher. <laughs> <laughs> this is the English Corridor. This is where we do all of our English studies and writing. We study English literature and English language as well. We do creative writing and we could also and we also study um, stuff like Macbeth, A Christmas Carol and lots of dystopian fiction like um, 1980 something. <laughs> it's 1984. <laughs> but we also have what we also celebrate World Book Day where all the teachers dress up as characters from a certain a book genre, and then we have to guess what genre they're from. And also we could watch one of our teachers transform into Bumblebee. <laughs> if you're really interested in English, we also have two clubs. We have the Creative Writing Club and we also have the Newspaper Club. It's really good. This is the Modern Foreign Languages Department. Here we do Spanish, German and... French and they're all picked at random. You, if you go through this department, you may hear one of our Spanish teachers, Mr. O'Brien, shouting, Buenos dias! <laughs> we also do a lot of trips here as well, like going to France or even Germany. Our school is known for its creativity and it has um, three departments within the creative. First off, music. So in music, we would be learning a different in, um, in our forms. We'd be learning an instrument, 
we would either be learning violin, viola, cello or flute and it's really cool. We could also learn other bonus instruments and you also get invited to um, music school as well and it's really epic as well. This is art. We have two art classrooms and we do art one hour every week. I, I personally am really interested in art and because it's such a creative subject there's lots of displays. We do stuff like shading, two point perspective, um, colour wheel and we study lots of different artists like Michael Smithers. This is our drama studio. It's very big and very tidy at the moment and this is usually where we would park stuff and then we would have all of this place to devise performances and let us peers watch what we've made. This is also backstage for um, some of our yearly school productions. Last year we did um, a Midsummer Night's Dream. This is the science lab. We have six science rooms in total here. And we do three different science subjects. We do chemistry, biology, physics. We also um, do a ton of experiments here as well, like neutralisation and dissecting the chicken wing and stuff like that. So yeah, down here will be the P Sports Hall, and and here is the Muga and the Asho Turf, as you can see here. This is usually where we do outside sports like basketball, netball, and then in the Astro Turf we usually do football. So this is the sports hall, you can just take a peek inside. It's all the kind of sports we do in here is like volleyball, badminton and fitness. This is the additional needs department, also known as the AND. We do um, things like um, autism provision, we also um, provide um, Lego therapy as well, and um, it's home to some of our really good staff. Here's the street. This is where we have breaks, we eat our food, we go outside and we play, we oh. talk. Yeah. yeah. Table tennis is one of the good things about the school. Yeah, it's yeah. really popular. Yeah, I play it myself. We hope you enjoyed the tour, and if you have any questions, contact contact us on our school email. Bye! Have a nice Bye. day!